Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu once said, ordinary men hate solitude, but the master makes use of it, embracing his aloneness and realizing he is one with the whole universe. But of course, while many of us understand that loneliness is sometimes necessary for us to come back to ourselves, reflect and grow, it doesn't make the journey of getting there any less scary, painful and confusing. Psychology defines loneliness as a distressing feeling that accompanies the perception that one's socio-emotional needs are not being met by the quality of one's inter and intrapersonal relationships. Numerous studies show that chronic loneliness can have a number of detrimental effects on our mental health, life satisfaction, and overall well-being. Fortunately, recognizing loneliness is the first step towards overcoming these feelings and moving forward to a more fulfilling life. With that said, here are seven of the most easily overlooked signs that you're feeling extremely lonely, even if it doesn't seem like it. Number one, materialism. Do you find yourself wanting more material possessions lately? Have you started to feel that having certain status symbols in your life, such as a new car, a bigger house, or a higher figure salary, is the only way you can be happy? If so, this newfound materialism you may be feeling could be because of extreme loneliness. In fact, it's actually very common for materialism and loneliness to compound and exacerbate one another. Simply put, the lonelier you are, the more materialistic you tend to be, and vice versa. Number two, social media addiction. Do you spend hours and hours on end just mindlessly scrolling through your feed, even though it doesn't make you feel better? Well, that's because too much social media exposure has actually been proven to increase feelings of loneliness, isolation, inadequacy, envy, and self-centeredness. Not only that, social media has also become something of a crutch that people turn to whenever they feel bored, lonely, or upset, which stunts their emotional growth and keeps them from developing healthy coping mechanisms and mental resilience. Number three, envy. Another often overlooked warning sign of extreme loneliness is strong feelings of envy towards others and their success. Why? Because jealousy is rooted in low self-esteem and a neurotic need for social acceptance. We feel jealous of other people because we want what they have. So pay close attention to who you can't help but envy and why. If it's someone well-liked with a lot of friends and popularity, be it online or in real life, you might be feeling really lonely. Number four, eating weight sleeping problems. From the outside looking in, loneliness can seem a lot like depression, so it tends to mimic a lot of the same symptoms too. And since weight gain, weight loss, insomnia, and oversleeping are all common side effects of depression, the same can be said for extreme loneliness. People who are extremely lonely might find it hard to fall asleep at night because of it, or they might do the opposite and use sleep as an escape from their problems. They could gain weight because of too much comfort eating or lose it because loneliness is making them neglect themselves and skip meals. Number five, constant boredom or restlessness. Similar to the last point, feeling extremely lonely but not even realizing it can easily be mistaken for boredom and restlessness. You find it hard to have fun or enjoy doing anything and spend your days aimlessly chasing whatever random and momentary pleasure you can find to distract you from an aching emptiness inside that you don't understand. This feeling comes from a lack of engagement, challenge, change, and opportunities for self-growth in one's life, which could be caused by or is causing you extreme loneliness. Number six, out of control emotions. How many times have you lost your temper or burst into tears these past few weeks? Are you feeling more emotionally volatile and unstable lately, but don't know why? Being emotionally out of control is a very telltale sign that you are struggling with your mental health and feeling extreme loneliness could be the reason why. Studies say that when we are struggling with loneliness, it puts our brains in a constant state of emotional distress that impairs our ability to regulate our emotions. And number seven, inability to be alone with yourself. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, if you find yourself unable to be alone with yourself and with your own thoughts, always needing to be around other people even when you don't like them or don't enjoy spending time with them, then you're likely struggling with extreme loneliness because being comfortable in your own company takes a lot of inner peace, mental strength, and self-acceptance. 
after all, there's a reason why they say being alone isn't the same as being lonely. 